Sunak condemns violence at Indian High Commission as Modi calls for strong action against anti-Indian elements. The Prime Minister has condemned recent violence at the Indian High Commission in London during a phone call with his counterpart Narendra Modi. Rishi Sunak branded the unrest as unacceptable and said extremism had no place in the UK. Mr Modi's office said the Indian Prime Minister called on Mr Sunak to take strong action against anti-India elements. It comes after an incident last month where violence broke out at the commission, leading to the arrest of one man and injuries to two security guards. Windows were smashed and videos on social media showed a man removing the Indian flag from the building's first-floor balcony with a crowd below waving yellow Kalistan banners appearing to encourage him. The group were believed to be supporters of a Sikh separatist movement that wants to create a new breakaway state in Punjab, North India. There have been signs of tension between the two countries following the incident, with India this week asking Britain for increased monitoring of UK-based backers of the movement. New Delhi has also accused them of abusing the UK asylum system to help terrorist activities in the South Asia country. A Downing Street spokesperson said, the Prime Minister reiterated his condemnation of the unacceptable violence outside the Indian High Commission in London. He stressed that extremism had no place in the UK and updated on the steps being taken to ensure the security of Indian High Commission staff. Read more. Key opposition leader in India disqualified from Parliament after defaming Modi. Amritpal Singh, Punjab state on high alert as separatist preacher remains on the run. Also during the phone call, the two leaders discussed the UK-India free trade agreement and reflected on the huge opportunities a deal would offer to Indian and British businesses and consumers. The £1 billion free trade deal was first announced by Boris Johnson nearly two years ago and includes £533 million in investment from India, which is expected to create more than 6,000 jobs in sectors including health and technology. However, despite several rounds of talks, the deal has not yet been formally signed. The leaders said there were ongoing negotiations about a free trade deal despite the incident at the commission, which led to reports that India had disengaged from the discussions after the UK failed to condemn Sikh separatists. But three officials said on Monday that talks on a free trade agreement have not been suspended and will continue this year. Last year, Home Secretary Sala Braverman said she had reservations about Britain's trade deal with India because it could increase immigration to the UK. Sky News 2023 Sunak condemns violence at Indian High Commission as Modi calls for strong action against anti-India elements. Held Kashmir's ex-governor Satya Pal claims Indian PM wanted to blame Pakistan calls Modi ignorant on Kashmir, demands restoration of statehood for the region. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi hid key facts from the public about the Pulwama terror attack that killed dozens of paramilitary troops in India-held Jammu and Kashmir in February 2019 a former governor of the disputed region has said. Modi hid facts about Pulwama attack for political benefit. Held Kashmir's ex-governor Satya Pal claims Indian PM wanted to blame Pakistan. Calls Modi ignorant on Kashmir, demands restoration of statehood for the region. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi hid key facts from the public about the Pulwama terror attack that killed dozens of paramilitary troops in India-held Jammu and Kashmir in February 2019 a former governor of the disputed region has said. Satya Pal Malik also told The Wire in an interview that he immediately realized that Mr Modi wanted to use the attack to blame Pakistan for the benefit of his government and the BJP. In a wide-ranging interview with Karen Thapar, published on Friday, Mr Malik also slammed corruption under Mr Modi's watch. I can safely say the PM has no real problem with corruption, he said. Mr. Malik was governor during the Pulwama attack and the scrapping of Article 370 in August that year. He said the Indian Prime Minister was ill-informed and ignorant about Kashmir, and that he had told Mr. Malik not to speak about the Home Ministry's lapses, which led to the devastating incident. Modi hid facts about Pulwama attack for political benefit. Held Kashmir's ex-governor Satya Pal claims Indian PM wanted to blame Pakistan. Calls Modi ignorant on Kashmir demands restoration of statehood for the region. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi hid key facts from the public about the Pulwama terror attack that killed dozens of paramilitary troops in India-held Jammu and Kashmir in February 2019, a former governor of the disputed region has said. Satya Pal Malik also told The Wire in an interview that he immediately realized that Mr Modi wanted to use the attack to blame Pakistan for the benefit of his government and the BJP. In a wide-ranging interview with Karen Thapar, 
published on Friday, Mr. Malik also slammed corruption under Mr. Modi's watch. I can safely say the PM has no real problem with corruption, he said. Mr. Malik was governor during the Pulama attack and the scrapping of Article 370. In इंक्लूसिव, एम्बिशियस, डिसिसिव और एक्शन ओरिएंटेड होगी। now, during the closing ceremony of the G20 summit, the Indian Prime Minister asserted on how it is imperative to keep women-led projects as a priority during its tenure. He also outlined the importance of sustainable lifestyle. Thank mm -hmm. you.